Hi everyone, it's Antoinette. Welcome back to my channel. And today I wanna to share with you on how I take care of my Chanel handbag collections. I know a lot of ladies really doesn't baby their Chanel handbag collections, but I tend to baby mine just because I know I work hard to get those bags. So I wanna make sure that I take good care of them so I can pass them to my daughters and maybe my daughters can pass to my grand grandkids. So yeah, I'll show you how I take good care of it and what I do and what I don't do when I'm carrying my Chanel handbags. So I'll be showing you on how I handle them and how I clean them after use and how I store my bags. And um, yeah, so I'll be uh, using my flap bag and also my boy bag as an example. So yeah, stay tuned. If you haven't done so, please click subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be the first one to be notified if I post new videos. So today I'm going to show you how I take care of my bags and what I do when I use them and after I use them and I just make sure that um, they're well taken care of. Um, so yeah, so I'll be um, posting a close up videos on how I usually take care of them. So you could also um, get some tips on how you're going to take care of your bags. So today I'm going to show you how I take care of my Chanel handbags after each use. I will also be showing you on how I store my bags. Before storing my bags, I always inspect it for any stains or dirt. Then I use the buffing mitten to clean the entire bag. You can also use this mitten to clean any stains that's just accumulated on your bag. All you have to do is just wipe it off in circular motion. However, this might not work on stubborn stains. Make sure you also clean the chains of the bag as this is where we handle it most of the time. After we wipe it clean, we need to um, stuff our bag with some tissue or old t-shirts. In that way, it will retain its structure. Then you can use the felt and insert it, and then the second felt. If yours doesn't come with a felt, then you could also use some tissue and just protect that area so the chain won't be pressing against the leather of your bag. Now we can store our bag in its dust bag. Now we could nicely tuck our chain on the other side of the dust bag. But if you don't have this kind, you could also wrap your chains with tissue or towels or old white t-shirt. Then I store my bags upright next to the box but not inside the box. Now I'm going to show you how I clean and store my boy bags. For cleaning, it's pretty much the same for all handbags. Then I tuck the chain part of the handle inside the bag.
As you can see here, none of the chains is putting pressure on any of the quilt. I tuck the leather part of the handle under the bag because there is a space there that it won't cause any indentation to the strap. Let me show you another way of storing your chain strap. Instead of using tissue to stuff your boy bag, you can also use a bag organizer to retain its shape. I tend to like this idea better because the boy bag has a tendency to sag a little bit on the back, so this really will hold its shape. Thank you so much for watching and I hope this video helped you in how to take good care of your Chanel handbag collection.